We're going to create the solving equations foldable notes and practice together in order to review and refresh the skills of solving single variable equations and also constructing an argument to justify the steps to a solution for a single variable equation. You're going to need to utilize the language that you hear me model throughout this video. Uh, we will discuss take time to copy the learning target on the back of your foldable as well as discuss the vocabulary. I'm going to guide you through the first six problems on this uh, one step equations page and then I'm going to ask you to stop the video and practice the last four on your own. The first equation x plus 9 equals 3 in order to undo adding 9 we're going to subtract 9 from both sides and I'm going to ask that at this point you're using the same type of structure to show the solution for your equation as I am. I'm subtracting from both sides and using the equal sign as a balance point. If I'm going to undo subtracting 2 on the left, I have to undo subtracting 2 on the right and get to a solution of x, f equals 13. Again, these are um, review skills, expected skills for you to come to advanced algebra with, yet I understand that in the beginning of this school year, we might need to refresh a little bit and get our brains working. Negative 4 times z, the coefficient on z was negative 4, and in order to undo multiplication, I'm going to use division, and I showed that with a fraction bar. In number 4, you see m divided by negative 3. I'm going to undo that by multiplying both sides by negative 3. I can use cross, I, I, well, as I cross multiply, if this is negative 3 over 1, I can divide out the negative 3 from the top and bottom. It leaves me with m equals 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. In number 5, this is a nice example to have in our foldable notes because I want to remind you that when we're multiplying by a fraction, we can undo that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the fraction's reciprocal. The reciprocal is when I flip the fraction. We're going to run a six-fifths. So our six and our five cancel out. M is going to be equal to 10 times six is 60, and 60 divided by five is going to give me 12. I do have a calculator sitting next to me, but practicing some mental math right now. Number six, same idea. Um, I've got negative three-fourths as the coefficient of y, so I'm going to multiply both sides of this by negative four-thirds. Now, opposite reciprocals have something to do with slopes of lines, but when we take reciprocals alone, we just, we keep the negative sign involved. Those cancel out. On the left-hand side, negative 4 times 9 is going to give me a negative 36, and if I divide negative 36 by 3, I'm going to get negative 12 there. Again, you're welcome to use a calculator. Um, at this point, stop the video and go on to the independent practice. I'm going to expect you to do that. Number seven, you should have added nine to both sides. B is going to be equal to negative two. In number eight, you should have divided both sides by nine. J is going to be equal to, oh, I think it is 12. I've got to double check here. Negative 108 divided by nine. Yeah, that was 12, negative 12. Uh, I'm going to multiply in number nine. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative seven. H is equal to 63. In number 10, hopefully you multiplied both sides by 5 eighths, the reciprocal, 5 eighths. Now remember that the easiest thing to do with fractions is to multiply them across the top. That's going to give me 20. Across the bottom, 15 times 8 is going to give me 120. And that actually will reduce to 1 sixth. Hopefully you got those answers as well. I'm going to go on to two-step equations probably do this video in a couple segments, but I will continue with two-step equations. As we undo to solve equations, we follow order of operations in terms of, you know, we talk about it as PEMA. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, maybe. We have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. When we are solving equations, we're going to work backwards. So we always go for um, undoing our addition and subtraction first. So in number one, I'd be adding four to both sides first. Lining up, I'm left with 4y. On the left-hand side, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4y is 5. We'll talk about checking your answers too, but I want to move through this video. Add 7 to both sides, undo that first. Negative 1 and 7 is 6. Remains with z over 3. 
on the right hand side and I'm going to undo that z divided by 3 by multiplying both sides by 3. And then I'm going to get a final answer of 18 is z. In number 7, I'll add 1 to both sides first. Wind up with 7d equals 14. I'm going to move forward and divide both sides by 7 and have d equals 2 as an answer. In number 4, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. a over 3 equals 2. I'm going to undo, divide by 3 by multiplying both sides by 3. So a is going to be equal to 6. You can stop the video and practice the next 4. In order to undo, divide by 8 in number 5, I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. Glad to have my calculator. 14 times 8 is going to give me 112 on the right hand side. Now I'm going to move forward and add. Now, this is, I'm going to actually make a quick pause here. You may have wondered why I undid the division because I set up here that we're going to always undo our addition and subtraction and then our multiplication and division first. I didn't undo that minus 13 first, but when we see a quantity in the top of a fraction like that, we have to treat it as if it's grouped up. The fraction bar is a grouping symbol, so I had to undo my grouping symbol, or what was affecting that group of uh, values up here, the y minus 13 was the divide by 8. Let me finish this one off. Y is 112, 125. I'm going to, same idea, multiply both sides by negative 3. M plus 6 remains on the left-hand side, negative 12 remains on the right. I'm going to subtract 6 to continue undoing. M is what's left on the left equals negative 18. Now I'm running into in number 7 and 8 combining like terms. Now 8y and 3y are like because they have the variable y stuck to them. 8y's and 3y's is going to give me 11y. So I'm going to combine my like terms first and then just go ahead and solve my equation. Same thing in number 8. I think I'm going to keep doing these with you guys in class. Negative 5k plus 13k is going to give me an 8k. Negative 5 and 13 is 8. I'm going to divide both sides by 8. And k will be negative 4. We're going to stop the video at this point and discuss some of the vocabulary and the language that I used during this first part. I'll continue with another segment. Good luck.